What's up, people? It's your belief, and if you click this video, you must be new to Battlefield 2042 and want to figure out what specialist, weapon, and gear to use as a new player. In this video, I will help you with all three of those things and give you guys recommended loadouts for your playstyle. There are three specialists that I would recommend you to play when you first start. The first specialist is Sundance. She has a wingsuit instead of a parachute, which gives her the ability to glide, and also a belt grenade for infantry, locking onto enemies, and an EMP grenade. I would recommend Sundance for players who are aggressive because her wingsuit gives her the ability to move throughout the map quickly to objectives or to flank your enemy. Also, her grenade belt has great utility for whatever you might encounter on the battlefield. The two weapons I would recommend running on Sundance is the PBX-45 and the M5A3. The PBX has great mobility and hip fire for close quarter combat. The M5A3 is great for medium ranges and has decent mobility. I would not recommend running the LCMG or the DM7, which is the marksman rifle and the LMG just because those two guns are slower handling. You can use Sundance to snipe, but because Sundance has so much mobility to get into combat, you would not use her kit to the fullest potential. For her gear, you could run smoke or regular grenades. For gadgets, use ammo or health crates if you are being very aggressive. Also use the M5 recoilless and the AA launchers if you are tired of vehicles, because vehicles are very strong in this game, and Sundance is the best specialist to destroy these vehicles. The second operator is Irish. He has a deployable shield and a trophy system that blocks all incoming grenades and rockets. His passive ability gives him extra 5 armor points whenever he picks up ammo from fallen enemies. Irish is a great specialist for people who want flexibility to be aggressive and passive. His deployable shield and trophy system is great for holding down objectives and providing cover for your team. You can also use the shield aggressively to push an objective where there is no cover. Best part is you get reward for playing aggressively and that is the only way to improve is to push your limits. Because of Irish's flexible playstyle, any weapon you choose will be great. But to maximize his kit, I would recommend running the M5A3 or or the DM7. For gadgets, run frag or smokes, and medic crate will be your best bet for gadgets since you should be getting additional armor and ammo from enemies. The last operator I would recommend to play is Angel. He has the passive ability to revive anyone on his team, not only your squad mates. When revived, they will have half health but an additional 20 points of armor. Angel also has the ability to drop ammo and armor for himself and teammates. This ability can be toggled and then he can call in a supply box where you change your loadout. When interacting with the box, you will get max ammo and grenades in your inventory. Angel is a great specialist for passive players who want to support their team. For weapons, you should use the SWS-10, which is a sniper rifle, the DM-7, the marksman rifle, or the M5A3. For gear, either use grenades or smoke, and because he could drop armor and ammo, you should run a medic crate for healing yourself and your team. Hope you learned some tips for playing Battlefield 2042. If you did, smash that like button. These are just suggestions to maximize your playstyle and experience. Feel free to mix and match all you want. Have fun in the battlefield. Subscribe if you guys want more tips to be a better Battlefield player, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.